All right. So it's back to the wrestler spotlight. What we did this several weeks ago, and initially uh, we did Tommy Dreamer. I think it was our episode two, and so we're gonna pick up where we last left off, which is appropriate for this week because it's around the ECW uh, WCW invasion. So um, before I get to that, though, um, I did want to ask about Tommy Dreamer as a creative mind backstage during the ECW time. I know he's pretty big part of the backstage uh scene there but how how much kind of creative input did he have in regards to how the show is executed in certain things or was he a valuable opinion backstage a lot of the time during that era if you remember um he 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 was definitely someone that um I think maybe like when I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like maybe if some of the house shows, especially in the, the, the later part of the window when I was there, I think sometimes Paul wouldn't be there and Tommy would be taking his place. Okay. Yeah. So he had that much, uh, he had that much power, <laughs> but he was that much, uh, that much office, you know, and, 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 that much in touch with Paul, um, you know, Bubba was close to at the and, and Taz, like all those guys that lived in New York. I feel like they were um, part of the office and keeping keeping things moving along with Paul, whether it's ordering the T-shirts or um, or uh, I don't know, even I like, get keeping the TV going, you know, to to an extent. But they, I think that they all had. Um, had a, a lot a lot of us say so in in the direction of i don't wanna, i don't know if i want to say everything but at least the parts that that, that paul could use help with the day-to-day kind of operation of it all in certain aspects of it maybe. yeah yeah um cool yeah uh did you ever have kind of uh, any work that you did backstage that you're like uh it's kind of like a added assignment to you or anything like that when it came to ECW or like you, if you, would you take onus or like jump in on something, anything stand out to you in that regard? No, no. You know, like, uh, um, I'm in charge of me. If somebody wants some advice or something that I'm always there for it, you know, but, yeah. uh, that's about as far as that goes. That's about it. All right. 